Hi there, in this video I'm going to be discussing relative motion, uh, which is fairly simple and I don't think you'll have any difficulties with it. Uh, first of all, let's start off with a little bit of nomenclature, or, or just understand what some of the symbols mean. Um, and really, for relative motion, that there's not much difference here, but one exception would be if we have V, A, of B. What does this mean? And uh, just so we know, this is the same thing as saying velocity of A relative B. So that's one key thing that we just need to realize. That's what this means. So let's just r knock it off into the uh, equation then. If we look at the equation, what you'll see is you'll have VA vector VA is equal to vector B plus vector A relative to B. Okay, and, and that's really it. I mean, there's no nothing too uh, special about it. This, this basic equation is going to govern any relative motion problem that you have. And what does that look, graf look like graphically? That's that's one of the key things that we need to understand. Is that uh, first of all, you may have V A, which I'm going to put in green here. So V A Okay. And then you would have V B, which just arbitrary direction. And then you have VA relative to B. And what that looks like is right here. VA relative to B. That's a vector. So as you can see, if you were to add up, you can see how this equation up here makes sense. VA, VA which is right, right here, right just right here you can see how the addition of the of VB and VA relative to B gets to the same point from the origin so that's the key concept. That's what it looks like graphically. That's what relative motion. And you can you can easily switch out anything with these with these arrows. Just think of anything that's traveling in straight lines. Um, casing point using this same graphic. I'm gonna just what we can do is we can go and we can draw. I don't know some sort of street. Okay. There we are. And whatever color I use, green and blue. So green, you can have a car that's just driving um, right here. Green car. Just going to use all green for them. And then you can have blue. Have a blue car traveling in this direction. realize that the green one has a velocity in this direction and the blue one has a velocity in this direction. Now let's just imagine, and I'm going to put them in pink, let's just imagine there's a little person in here, in the blue car. And he's pointing 
a video camera a video camera right at the green car what does that video camera wait how does the green car appear to move in accordance to this video camera that's in, that's in the pink guy's hands well that would be your v this 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 velocity the 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 speed that the green car appears to move away to the camera would be velocity of uh, a relative to b so it's more like appearance most of the time when we've been talking about um, a stationary object and something moving away at some angle or whatnot the objects always been stationary and now you can think about what happens if this point is moving in a certain direction and you realize that the kinematics don't change much you just have to add this little equation in which is up here this equation in. so anyway I mean really basic stuff and I'll, and I'll actually um, I'll run us through a few examples, but uh, I hope you found this useful. And let's just let's just go off to an example real quick. I'll see you in the next video.